a very basic and common question. Does using a cellular telephone while driving cause more incidents or road accidents? In general, driver distraction is one of the leading causes of traffic incidents. Using and talking on a cellular phone requires a large amount of attention and is a contributing factor to incidents. However, using a cellular telephone is one of many distractions a driver faces. In other words, concern about driver distraction should not be limited only to cellular telephones. There are many other factors. Dear friends and fellows, a safety training series is ongoing, how to drive safely. In the part one, we have learned what are the duties and responsibilities of a driver. In this training session, we'll discuss about the driver skills and we'll also highlight safe driving tips. So without wasting time, let's get started. Driving is a high risk job and driver must be a responsible, experienced, qualified and competent person with full medical fitness. We'll discuss now what skills needed by a driver. Number one, visual. He should be able to see watching the road in front and around the vehicle using mirrors, shoulder checks, checking gauges, speedometer, etc. Second important skill that is required for the driver is auditory, listening, squealing of brakes, the sirens of an emergency vehicle, and the other vehicle sounds. If he or she is not able to listen well, it means that driver is not fit for the job. And and we cannot consider that he or she is a safe driver because he is lagging in the basic skills those are required for a driver. Number three, biomechanical, doing activity and eye coordination, turning the steering wheel, activating signals, headlights, horns, etc., pressing the accelerator, brakes, clutch. In other words, this is the functionality of the vehicle and this is the responsibility of the driver. Fourth skill that is required is cognitive thinking, what to think and how to think, anticipating any future movements, assessing situations such as movement of other vehicles, weather conditions, etc., appearing to avoid hazards, to use a cellular phone. The operator or the driver also needs all of these skills. Visual, locating correct buttons, scanning screen, auditory, listening to conversation, biomechanical, pressing buttons, holding phone, and cognitive, engaging in conversation. So you have to memorize four important skills, basic skills that every driver should have. And once you are going to select a safe driver, you will make sure visually, auditory, biomechanical, and cognitive. By all four aspects, the driver should be fit and he or she is fulfilling all four requirements. Dear friends and fellows, you are on the platform of safety first line. If you are first time on this channel, kindly, subscribe it and press the bell icon for all future notifications and if you find the video informative then like comment and share it with your friends and fellows do you know why the more accidents happen just because of destruction let us jump on the next topic and we'll learn what is destruction and how many types of destruction as you know the accident happened because of inattention of the driver. And this is one of the common causes. It is not known 
how much distraction a driver can handle before he or she loses focus on the road. We probably have all seen examples of activities that can distract drivers such as number one, eating, drinking or smoking. Number two, reading, including looking at a map, book, etc. Number three, applying makeup, shaving, brushing teeth, etc. And number four, adjusting radio, cassette, CD, MP3, DVD players, climate or other controls. Number five, adjusting features such as paddles or steering wheel. Number six, watching a person, object or event outside the vehicle. Number seven, moving objects in the vehicle, devices, food containers, insects, etc. Number eight, talking with other people, especially if the driver turns to those in the back seat of the car. Number nine, dialing, talking or texting on a cellular phone. And number 10, using cellular phone, radio or other communication devices. Accidents not just happen, accidents are caused. And these are the common causes of driver distraction that ultimately lead to a vehicle accident. Today, we are discussing the driver skills and the safe driving tips. This is part two of safe driving safety series. Point number 11, that is one of the common cause of driver distraction. Advanced features of cellular phones and other wireless communication devices, including internet, email, fax, etc. Number 12, other wireless devices such as laptop, computers, tablets, etc. Number 13, in vehicle navigation systems, GPS systems, etc. And number 14, night vision systems. These all 14 are the common causes of driver distraction. Remember, if there is an accident on your work site, if you are a safety practitioner or a supervisor or the work in charge, and you are the member of accident investigation team, you will find many of these causes. You will observe these are the reasons why the accident happened on your work site in your project. So once you're going to discuss safe driving tips with your operators and drivers, you must highlight all these 14 points. And if you will repeat in your toolbox talks, in your induction trainings, in your internal safety trainings, your drivers might be able to know what are the common causes of driver distraction. They can prevent, they can avoid those common causes that might lead to a potential catastrophic workplace vehicular accident. After discussing the basic skills required for a driver, the common causes of driver's distraction, let us understand now what are the safe driving tips, how to drive safely. You will not only learn, but you will also communicate with your workforce and drivers. And you will implement these safe driving tips in your daily life if you are driving a vehicle. Dear friends and fellows, the most important point is drivers should be attentive. Incidents occur because drivers were not aware of the conditions around them. Be aware and know that distractions can come from many sources at any time. So, in general, be well rested. If you are interested to learn the safe driving tips, then you have to memorize a few important points. Point number one, don't consume alcohol, drugs, medications, or other substances that may affect safe driving. Number two, try not to think about personal or business matters especially those that are upsetting and at the same time you are driving a vehicle. 
Point number three, don't use cellular phones or other devices if possible, including hands-free devices because it causes distraction and distraction leading to an accident. Before starting the journey, store belongings properly, adjust seat, mirrors, steering wheel, climate controls, etc. Select a radio station or have the music device ready. Plan your route, check the map or read the directions. These all points you will consider before start driving. Now, we'll consider a few important safe driving tips. What you have to implement during driving. Number one, pay attention. Number two, keep distractions to a minimum. Eating, drinking, smoking, adjustment to radio, cell phones, etc. Number three, be aware of changing driving conditions such as the volume of traffic, weather, etc. Number four, don't reach for items that have fallen or shifted unless absolutely necessary and can be done safely. Number five, don't write notes while driving and or talking. Number six, don't glance at incoming messages. Your attention is diverting and if you are inattentive, you can make, you can cause an accident. And number seven, be aware of other vehicles or persons who may be distracted. So you will not think that they will protect you. You have to protect yourself and it is also your responsibility to protect other drivers and the trespassers. Let us learn now what to do to drive safely. Today, in this training session, we are discussing about the driver's skills and what are the safe driving tips. If a driver is competent, experienced and skilled, if he or she knows his responsibilities, then he or she must follow these safety precautions, these safety instructions. Number one, avoid using the phone or similar devices. Number two, have a voicemail option and allow it to pick up messages. Number three, pull over to a safe location to make or take the call. Pull out of the flow of traffic, especially when on a major highway. Don't stop on the shoulder. Tell your caller you will phone them back after you have parked. Number four, do have a passenger answer or place the call. Number five, Use a hands-free device when using the phone. Voice activation, single touch, but remember the activation process and conversation itself is still a distraction, if it is possible. Number six, make sure other devices are mounted, not moving around while driving. Number seven, pre-program commonly used numbers. Number eight, pause conversations if driving conditions become hazardous. For example, rain, snowfall, construction, or heavy traffic. These are the safe driving tips. You have to follow these rules, but in the upcoming slide, we'll discuss few instructions that you will never do. So let us understand what you should not do in any case while driving. Number one, don't participate in very emotional or stressful conversation while driving. Number two, don't take notes or look up information while driving. Ask the person on the other end to make notes for you if necessary. Number three, don't use the device, including the text or email features, even when at a stop sign or red light. And number four, don't make gestures while talking and driving. You will follow these instructions and you will not repeat these points while you are driving on a highway. Here is another point. Not only your safety and the safety of the people, those are inside the vehicle or the other road users 
they are at risk if you are not following safe driving tips there might be other problems almost in all countries and territories have legislation which specifically bans or restricts using handheld cellular phones or other similar devices while driving in all cases drivers who cause accidents or incidents or who are driving unsafely while using a cell phone or device can be charged with offenses such as dangerous driving careless driving and criminal negligence causing death or injury this is not allowed under the law it is punishable maybe the driver will be prosecuted and not only the prosecution maybe a bulk amount of fine blood money he or she have to pay as a penalty as a driver feel your responsibility make sense that life of other people is in your hand and make a difference between a car and a jet plane if you will not follow safety precautions safe driving tips you will meet with the accident and you have to face the consequences under local provincial state level or maybe under the country regulations your safety is your responsibility not only your safety but the safety of others as well and that's all for today training session on the topic of skills required for a safe driver and what are the safe driving tips is over now if you have any question please ask in the comment section thanks for watching and don't forget to like comment and share the video hope to see you soon with the new hsc tutorial until then take care good luck and goodbye